glad to see that food has been taken so very seriously. The awards which uh, which go in the making of uh, you know or recognizing good food is always welcome. This is the cherry on the cake. I mean, this is perfect. So it's a very interesting concept because I think India has so many varieties of things that one can taste. Why do you think I'm here? To celebrate, uh, right. yeah, celebrate the joy of making friends through food. The fact that you're trying to award food uh, increases the chance of excellence. I think food is one of the very rare experiences in life where you actually uh, awaken all your five senses. It's a gastronomic delight. So congratulations to Times Now. my food and um, it'd be nice to know all the winning restaurants uh, um, you know what they've been up to what they've been serving up and uh, why they're winners and the great thing is whoever wins we go to their restaurants go and meet together and they never charge us so that's the icing on the cake I think this is this has the potential to be the Oscar in the F&B segment Hello and welcome to the foodie. This episode is not just the foodie, but it's that moment that you've been waiting for. Yes, these are the foodie awards 2012 when we honor the best of the best. So I'm not going to waste too much of your time. Let's plunge straight into them. The celebration of the foodie awards 2012. For over 300 episodes, with over 500 hotels, restaurants, cafes and roadside dhabas. In over 200 homes. Featuring over a hundred great chefs. Tasting over a thousand dishes. From India's traditional flavors to what the world loves to eat. Cheers. We have dined with the best. Over land, air, and sea. The foodie has uncovered the best in culinary cuisine across the country and beyond. And today, we bring to you the sum of all these experiences. Yes, the Foodie Awards are here again to honor the best of the best. Today, we come together to honor, to acknowledge, to salute, and to applaud those for whom there is no love more sincere than the love for food. Times now presents the Foodie Awards 2012. Times Now Foodie Awards 2012. I see a lot of familiar faces in the audience today, and I know deep down in my heart, in here, that you're all here because of that one lustful, steamy, carnal, lascivious, wanton, and sensual desire that is so hard to resist. Not me. The appetite for food. And that's exactly how I have felt in these six years. Uh, well, these six years, the foodie has voyaged from cities to countries, from homes to kitchens, from restaurants and cafes to roadside dhabas, meeting the world's best chefs to the world's best homemakers. It's a journey that now, every year, culminates in us celebrating, honoring, and recognizing the great food we've had on this quest. That's what the Times Now Foodie Awards are all about. But it's not easy. It's not easy to choose a select few who will win awards. Just the process of whittling down to nominate categories is something I personally hate to do. I mean, who does one choose? How does one nominee become better than the other? Thankfully, we had a sterling team who did all the dirty work. Yes, the jury for the Times Now Food Awards 2012. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause to him, although he's not here today. 
Chief Executive Corporate Chef of ITC Hotels, Chef Manjeet Gill. But who we have here today are two wonderful ladies. Let me start off with the lady herself, Rashmi Uday Singh. Thank you for being with us, Rashmi. Would you like to say a few words? First, I'd like to congratulate all the winners who I can see have come from all over the country. That's amazing. Let's give them a big round of applause. You know, we traveled all over doing this really tough job, remember, mm. eating. And we judged them on food, service, ambience, value for money. And the nominees too deserve a big round of applause. So big round of applause for them too, please. And I promise I'd keep this short and sweet, but I would like to congratulate Times Now, right? Because I think what they've done by conceptualizing, conceiving, and then executing and implementing this gigantic, humongous, ambitious task of honoring restaurants across the country has never been done before in India. So congratulations, Times Now team. Thank you, thank you, Rashmi. And now, she's a pioneer, and her name is Karen Anand. Karen, could we have you on stage, please? And I think Rashmi said it all, really. Um, fantastic working with not just you, but going around the country. Um, and I think, you know, all the unsung heroes of, of food, not just the great restaurants, because in the recent years, we know that all the great restaurants have been awarded. We know who they are. But, you know, the, the Missal Pao Wala we went to, all the little street food guys who I think really need uh, to be applauded, and they are tonight. And I thank you for that, because I think we don't get to see them enough. Um, and that's been terrific. Thank you. Thank you, Karen. Welcome, everyone, to Kent Mineral RO presents the Times Now Foodie Awards 2012 in association with Ice Music CDs, Colgate Sensitive Pro Relief, Yes Bank, Appy Fizz, and Turkey Tourism. I'd like to call on stage a man. Now, I've known him for over a decade. Ladies and gentlemen, Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer, Times Television Network, Mr. Sunil Lulla. Sunil. Good evening, distinguished guests. Thank you for being here with us. On behalf of the Times Television Network, we greet each of you very, very warmly. Thank you for joining us for the second Foodie Awards. This evening is very special because we have all of you here to celebrate with us excellence in cuisine, excellence in food, and honoring the people who actually make it happen. That's very special. I know there will be a few winners from the nine categories, but importantly, there are a whole host of nominations from across this country. And a big thank you once again to this jury. They've packed in a lot of energy, a lot of enthusiasm, and a lot of patience in zipping around and making some hard and tough decisions. And they have been good decisions. Thank you, Sunil. Now, the face of Times Now. Ladies and gentlemen, Editor-in-Chief of Times Now, Arnab Goswami. He wants me to talk. By the end of the week, most people want me to shut up. <laughs> but Kunal, I want to say one thing about you. I started out six years back. Life is very unfair. Look what he does, look what I do. He has the best job after Queen Elizabeth. Do you agree with me? It's not fair, Gunal. We started out together. You even got yourself a new hip. <laughs> but Kunal, I adore you. We started out together. I think a lot of people like Kunal because the only person I find who's totally comfortable with the subject. You look like the subject. I don't know whether I'm saying the right thing. <laughs> you look like food. I just take that compliment. Am I right? Cy Cyrus, am I right? He looks like food. <laughs> Non-veg food. Thank you, Kunal. May you have many more years of the food. Thank you, Arnav. She's starred in critically acclaimed movies like Tare Zamipar and Firak. Her body of work is quite enchanting, and she's also devastatingly pretty. Ladies and gentlemen, 
please join me in welcoming the gorgeous and delectably sweet Tiska Chopra. Thank you so much for that absolutely wonderful introduction. It's a real pleasure to be here, Kunal. When you put the two words, food and excellence together, one name rushes to the forefront of my mind. And before we start off the awards, we must honor one gentleman who is one of India's most celebrated food columnists, a renowned food historian, and a connoisseur of fine taste. Ladies and gentlemen, for outstanding contribution to the food and beverage industry, let's have a loud round of applause for Jigs Kalra. He is fondly called the czar of Indian cuisine. Some even call him the taste maker to the nation. The evening news of India, where Mehram contractor pioneered food writing formally, they offered me at the age of 21 the first weekly column. You know, I could have gone through the roof that day. Jigs Kalra is a man who needs no introduction, a pioneering food columnist and an author, a food consultant and a true gastronome. In a career spanning over five decades, Jigs has been instrumental in reviving the lost cuisines and cooking styles from ancient India. Jigs is the first Asian to be inducted in the International Gourmet Hall of Fame. Jigs continues to be an inspiration for food enthusiasts and an always in demand food writer and leading consultant to the hotel and catering industry. Today, we salute the spirit of our honorable chief guest, Mr. Jigs Kaldra, as we present him the award for an outstanding contribution in the food and beverage industry. And to present the award, I'd like to call Sunil Lulla and Arnab Goswami onto stage. said that I, have, I haven't waited a long time for this trophy. I have. And if I could, I'd just dance a bhangra down with my friends across in the auditorium. <laughs> when I first started seeing Kunal on television, I wondered how long he'd last with the amount of food he was consuming. <laughs> I was a little worried about him. I had gone that route. But I do wish him the very best for the next six years. Thank you, Jigs. Thank you very much. Can now, start? ladies and gentlemen, it's time to move to our very first category of awards that seeks to honor a fresh face in the food arena. Ladies and gentlemen, the Times Now Foodie Award for the best debut restaurant of 2012. Let's have a look at the nominees. Category for the best debut restaurant. And the nominees are Neil Mumbai. Zafran. Bangalore Umami Gurgaon And to do the honors may I call on stage the lovely Zeba Kohli the category for the best debut restaurant is Neil Mumbai. बहुत खुश हूँ, बहुत हैप्पी हूँ, और इसमें सर, जो भी सीखा, शेफ इंतियास पुरेशी का साथ है इसमें। रोल um, this is fantastic. I think for any for any restaurant, uh, starting up a new place is tough. It's risky. It's scary, and uh, to be recognized for what you've tried to do in a short time is fantastic. 
And that brings us to the next category, the Times Now Foodie Award for the Best Fine Dine 2012. And here are the nominees. Category for the Best Indian Fine Dine. And the nominees are Zia, Oberoi, Mumbai. Esh, The Park, Hyderabad. Indian Accent, Delhi. And to present the award, may I call on stage Mr. Varun Gupta, Director, Kent Aro. Uh, the award for Best Fine Dine Restaurant, Indian Fine Dine Restaurant goes to Indian Accent, Delhi. Times now, and uh, it's a very small hood restaurant in a French colony. So whenever you are in Delhi, please visit in the night. Thank you very much. I request Mr. Gupta to please stay back on stage. We have a special jury mention. Another award in the same category, a special jury mention. If you could please announce that award as well. The special jury award goes to Zia Oberoi, Mumbai. It's, around, it's an honor for us to be here and to represent Zia Restaurant and the uh, gentlemen and ladies from uh, overall Obroy and especially Obroy Mumbai. So to all of you, thank you very much. Thank you so much to Rashmi, Karen, Kunal, all of you and Shafkar. Thank you very much. <laughs>